everyone and welcome to another episode of Fanboy Fango Friday. We cover the latest news on the internet just for you. Whether you're super religious or not, this first story will show us who our true leader of our religion really is. Baby Pope! So this past Saturday, the Pope was making his way through the United States. And besides taking some well-worthy pictures, like this one with Obama, or this one with the fabulous hood, the Pope was making his way through Philadelphia, and while he was going through Benjamin Franklin Parkway, there emerged Baby Pope! Oh my god! Don't swear! We're in the presence of Baby Pope! Now I wonder what went through that baby's head. I don't get what this parade is doing, Mom. Why are we here? I don't. I don't get any of this. What is going on? Why are these people in fancy uniforms doing here? Why are there lights? I don't like this. Why is there beeping? Why am I wearing this hat first? Mom, Mom, what are you doing? I don't think, Mom, I don't think this is safe. I mean, you're holding me over a fence, over a concrete freaking road. There's no like pillows or marshmallows. Who? What is that mobile? Wait, wait a minute. Mom, you told me that this hat mixed with this onesie was original. I thought we had a thing going, but obviously, Mom, you know what? I was wrong, and I'm, I'm really... Why is this guy taking a picture of me? I don't... What? Oh, my God. Mom, no. Mom! Ah, oh, my God. It's the man. Man, what are you doing? I don't like this. Oh, my... Oh. Oh. You just kissed me. Okay, well, um, that w okay. Mom, I don't, well, can, can we just go, Mom? Wait, who's that? What is he doing? <gasps> no! I feel betrayed, Mom. Oh, that man betrayed me. How dare you? And when the Pope saw Queen Madden, aka Baby Pope, the Pope Mobile stopped, and the Pope got one of his guards to go over, pick up Quinn, and take him to the Pope, where the Pope soon blessed Quinn with a kiss. Since that moment, Baby Pope has blown up the internet with both pictures, memes, videos, and he even got his own Google information page. Okay, so this kid has done more in the few months that they've been alive than I've done in my whole life. Yeah, can we please move on to the next story so I don't feel as depressed anymore? This next story is about Zendaya, and whether you've heard about her from her Disney Channel shows like Take It Up or Casey Undercover, or her amazing fashion sense as displayed on her many red carpet appearances, she has been incredible. So incredible, in fact, that the toy brand Barbie has decided to make a Barbie after her. Now instead of going for any old show-stopping look of Zendaya's, Barbie decided to use Zendaya's widely talked about look from the 2015 Oscars, thus become the first Barbie to be biracial. Zendaya said that as a kid she never really found a Barbie that represented her biracial identity, and now as an adult she's ecstatic that she gets to be the first one. She's also completely floored all the detail that Barbie put into her doll, including the detail all the way down to her pinky ring. Now I want a pinky ring. Zendaya also said, what once was Barbie is no more. And that could not be more true. With now the inclusion of Zendaya's Barbie, we now also have an Asian Barbie, a head-shaped Barbie, and among others, a period Barbie. Quick note, this is also said to be the first Barbie to have flat feet, as well as having sweatpants as an optional clothing option, which Zendaya is said to be very excited about. Though she has said that she would also like for her doll to have a comfy t-shirt, and some Nike Air Max shoes as a clothing option, but I mean, you know, baby steps. So we're starting to make the transition from dresses to comfortable clothes that people actually wear. Progress, everyone! Yeah. Our last story is of the new Angry Birds movie trailer that was just released. Yes, Angry Birds has decided to take on the cinematic universe. Besides taking on the entire universe, beware, it's coming. So the trailer was not that bad, but it did have us like, Oh god, this is gonna be the next Lego movie. Not saying that's bad, but if it has another musical number in it, I swear to god, every kid everywhere in the world is going to see it. Anyways, as we know, Angry Birds has released one of the biggest apps in like forever, and they have made a lot of money on different stuff like drinks, food, pajamas, pillows, anything you say, they have made it. They're pretty much ready for world domination soon. 
soon. Angry Birds, we're on to you. We see what you're going to do. First take over the world through the app, then make a bunch of products, making us buy them, and now influencing the younger generation with that movie? Ha, you're not fooling us. Listen, everyone, don't see the Angry Birds movie. They have a plan for world domination. What are you guys doing here? <laughs> okay, 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 I'll, okay, I'll do what you say, I'll do what you say. Okay, everyone, I was just lying from before. The Angry Birds movie is going to be amazing. I should definitely go see it. Anyways, we hope you enjoyed today's episode of Fanboy Fangirl Friday. We hope you like, comment, subscribe, and share. All the links to the stories can be located in the description box down below. We hope you guys have a fantastic day, and please go see the Angry Birds movie. This is going to kill me.